1079 Hotspot ATL.com. It's K Simone right here on the red carpet for the BET Hip Hop Awards. And it's only right that we go ahead and tap in with our fave. This is a family member right here. Hey, hey, Kalu. Hey, girl. How you doing, boo? I'm good. First of all, listen, I was just telling you about the fact that you were on Birthday Bash Block yes. Party, and now look at you. My girl is on rap shit, okay? When you keep working and you, and you, and you stay, you know what I'm saying, you stay grounded. And you just have consistency, man. Things happen. The ground gonna shake for you. Absolutely. So talk about that, because I know you praise uh, Issa Rae, because yeah. she did her conversation on the Drunk Champs. Yeah. And talk to me about, you know, what was it when Issa came to you about it? Like, just how did that whole situation transpire for you? Um, I met, I got to meet Issa on my third interview, uh, my third audition, and it was via Zoom. And it got me so nervous, because I'm like, oh my God, like, this is really becoming real to me. And then I finally met her in my last audition. And just to be able to be on set with such a great black talent and someone who's pioneering TV, like changing, oh my gosh, just breaking barriers, all kind of shit. I'm putting people in positions that people wouldn't give opportunities like myself, underdogs. And I just, I praise her for that, you know. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, is it true that you bust in with Issa Rae and said, this is mine? This is this is this is me. You wrote this for me. I am Mia, and Mia is me. Yeah, I, I manifested it. I had to let them know. Like, if you pick anybody else, I don't know what's gonna happen, but pick me. Absolutely, absolutely. So, what can we expect next from Chameleon? What can we expect next from Rap Shit overall? Um, taking over the, the you know the TV game, movies, taking over the music game. You know, just taking over this shit. Period. Right. And making a whole bunch of money. Period. Now, did you ever see yourself being in TV? I mean, it was a thought, you know, because my passion is music. But who would have thought, like, this would be the opportunity and how I break into the industry through, through TV. So I always knew I was going to make it. I just didn't know when and how. But this is how it happened, and I just thank God for the opportunity. 